We'll start this demonstration by creating a new project. Select the Project folder Create New Project option. Enter the name for the project. Select the coordinate system and units. Enter the names, coordinates, and elevations for the boreholes. Set the total depths to zero. We'll set the TDs automatically after all the MIPS data has been imported. If you already have the coordinates in a spreadsheet, they can be imported into the database to bypass this step. Once you've finished adding all the boreholes in their coordinates, copy the MIP files into the new project folder. Select the Borehole Manager, File, Import, Text, Single Tables, Text File to PData option. Click on the File Open icon. Click on the File Filter in the lower right corner and select All Files. Double click on the first MIP file that you want to import. The MIP file column titles will be displayed along the left side of the import menu. Because this is a new database and it's the first hole, we have no available fields to copy most of the data to. So, click on the PData Type Table button in the lower right corner. Enter the names for the PData columns to be created within the RockWorks database. When you're done, these names will appear within the Available Fields list. Drag the available fields to the corresponding tracks. This tells RockWorks which fields to copy the data to. Since the MIPS files don't contain the borehole name, we'll need to check the Import for One Borehole option and select the appropriate borehole ID. Click the OK button and after a few seconds the MIPS data will be imported into the PData table for the designated borehole. When you repeat this process for the next borehole, you won't need to recreate the PData fields. When you're finished importing all the MIP data, select the Edit Adjust Total Depths option. This will automatically set the total depth for every borehole. Now, let's scan all the boreholes to automatically set the project dimensions. Let's check the locations by selecting the Map Borehole Locations to Google Earth Simple option. This provides a good visual check to make sure that we've defined the proper coordinate system as well as the right coordinates. Next, use the Map Borehole Locations option to generate a surface topography map to double check the borehole elevations. To visually double check the borehole total depths, select the Strip Logs Three Dimensional Multiple Logs option. Plotting just the log axes will show if any of the total depths are incorrect. Draping a slightly transparent air photo or satellite image over the ground surface may also help to spot bad data. Plotting the individual MIP parameters as spindle diagrams with the Multilog 3D plotting program is another good method for spotting bad data. Once we've established that the data is good, it's time to start modeling. Select the PData model option and create models for the parameters of interest. These models may then be subsequently processed and displayed in a variety of ways with other RockWorks tools. For example, models based on MIP data can be displayed as reveal animations in which the edges of the model are successively sliced away, thereby showing the interior of the model. Models based on MIP data can be statistically standardized to highlight anomalous zones, such as zones in which the MIP parameter exceeds the mean plus three standard deviations. Rotational animations of these filtered MIP models 
depict the anomalies from all viewpoints. Animations can be created in which the ISO levels of the MIP data are gradationally adjusted, thereby highlighting possible point sources for contamination. MIP-based strip logs, maps, fence diagrams, and plume models can also be exported to Google Earth and projected above the ground surface.